Good morning. It's Teresa, Keto Fat Girl No More. I think today is February 1st. It's Friday. Um, so, I ate the chicken. I ate a little bit of the peas, the pea salad. And I ate the Halo Top ice cream. <laughs> And Ruben's working out. And all he ate was some peanuts. I don't know if he ate anything before he picked me up from work. But I'm ready for a nap. So I was going to go do laundry. But I think I'm going to take a nap. And then when I wake up, I'll go do some laundry. Because all my work clothes are dirty. My pajamas are dirty. Pretty much everything's dirty. Plus I need to wash our bedding. But I'm really full now. So I think... A nap sounds good <laughs> oh my goodness so I wanted to congratulate um, Tammy from keto in the chaos for I don't know if she's hit it today but she's almost got 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube so I'm really excited for her so congratulations Tammy <laughs> okay I'll be back okay I just went to Winco I got some real bacon bits. I figured whatever we eat, we will uh, make it taste better with some bacon. I got some more pea salad. I might just add some bacon to the pea salad because it's already got some. And I got some mayonnaise to add. And then I got an avocado. Because I've been craving an avocado. Yeah. And I got two more pieces of two chicken thighs there. Rotisserie chicken. And I got Reuben some peanuts. I'm laying off of the nuts. I got a Coke Zero. And the only nuts that I'm eating are these. And it'll take me about a week to eat these. It looks like it's a lot, but it's just it's a little inky dinky bit. It was like a dollar's worth of sugar free dark chocolate covered almonds. And then of course I had to get some Halo Top. So that's what I'm going to eat today. And I'm not going to eat it all, but that's... I'm going to eat some. Okay, I'll be back. Ruben said he was going to work out. And this is as close as I get to working out. My new workout pants. <laughs> I made you laugh. <laughs> I worked out already. I worked from one o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'll be back. I don't know what the heck this is. I said I'm talking. I'm talking to our to our subscribers. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but he's doing it. Navy <laughs> Seals. Navy Seals what? Navy Seals. That's what the name is. That's what the name of the exercise is? Yeah. Oh, wow. You should show them how you do your burpees. Burpees? Yeah. This is a six-pound burpee. Why? Because you got six count, six movements. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I'll be back. Doesn't that look scrumptious? That is my second meal of the day. A half of avocado with real bacon bits in it. I just thought that sounded so good. Lots of yummy fat. <laughs> okay, we're back. Chiquita decided to join us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just ate the avocado with the bacon 
Oh my word. I think that's gonna be one of my new favorite meals. And Ruben's eating some sugar-free jello. Is it good? Yeah, it is. Delicious. It, does it taste like it's sugar-free? <coughs> and I needed something sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna start buying them. Um, Cause my mind was going to some kind of sweet bread or something. Yeah, I found them t uh, today when I was stocking. I happen, I normally stock HBC, which is hygiene, beauty, and cosmetics, and I stock every single day. Those, you know, those big, um, they're called U-boats, the big metal things. I showed you guys before in one of my videos, but we fill them with the boxes and they have wheels on them, and you can go around. Um, when I work a nine hour or eight hour shift, I'll unload like three or four of those in that eight hours. Well, today I did, I did three in HBC, but I did one in food. And so I was looking at all the stuff and I, I almost wanted to make a video. There's actually a lot of food at Dollar Tree that you can eat on keto, but I found these and then they also have um, a jello with the cream, like a whipping cream in it. And I've tasted that one, but I haven't tasted this one. So probably later on I'll eat this one. Probably the strawberry one. I'm really not too much into orange. But I told myself if if we liked them that I would buy some more. Because a dollar for four. Come on. That's awesome. Anyway, so I got that. Oh, and then I've been buying these for my daughter. This is a name brand. Okay. And Every week we get a different a different one, a different color one. Last week we got brown ones, and I think they had coconut oil in them. This one says it's for allergy prone skin. So that's good because I buy them for Gabby, and she's, you know, at that age where she gets acne. So every week I've been buying her a couple of them. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here. I took a nap, I feel better. Um, we're going to be picking up Gabby in about an hour, and then after we pick up Gabby, we usually wind down for the night. So, can I ask the question? What? How are you feeling today? I was just going to say, you didn't ask me today. <laughs> I got some good news, okay? First of all, my weight is 181. This was yesterday. My weight was 181. My blood pressure was... But wait a second. Last time you weighed yourself, you were 176. So did you gain five pounds? Yeah, I think I did. How'd you gain five pounds in a couple days? I don't know. When you had just lost 13 pounds? Well, I think... I don't know. Maybe I was drinking a lot of liquids or something. I don't know. Oh, maybe when you weighed yourself, it was... No, because it was lighter. Oh, maybe when you weighed yourself the second time, you had just ate or something. Maybe. This time. Did you have your boots on when you weighed yourself the second time? Yeah. Oh, your boots are heavy, silly. That's probably not accurate right, accurate weight. Okay, so... Okay, anyways, go ahead. <clears throat> I weighed myself today with that with the other scale, and it was 185. Oh. I don't know. i got to find a good scale. Yeah. So, anyway, my blood pressure was 117 over 84. You guys, that is so good for him. His blood pressure is usually like 150 over 90 something. And he is the hardest person to take pills. Like with all the vitamins that we're taking now, I make sure he, I give him, I have him in a container for him and I give him to him every night. But his, when he was on blood pressure medication, he would never take it. My blood pressure was so high. It was like 200 over 180. That's how high it was. So keto is helping him with his blood pressure. That is, that's awesome. This is the best I've had it in... I don't know how many years. Yeah. It's been years. I'm so excited about and that. And my pulse is 58. Which because... is actually higher than it's been. He's had a high, a uh, hard, he's been hospitalized. You guys remember when I was, when he was hospitalized in the summertime and I was yeah, they videoing. Were getting, talking about putting a pacemaker in yeah. me because my pulse was 34, down yeah. to 34. But So 58 is good. 58 is really good because the doctor told me that a normal pulse is 60. Yeah, and that's I'm, mine's good. 58. So, with my weight, I said one 181, 117 over 84, and 58 on my pulse. So, actually, I'm doing really good. Yeah, it's working out for me because I'm not in it to lose weight. This but, is your third week. But I'm in it for the health. Yeah, and so so far so good. Yeah. 
So it's 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 helping me out a lot. And to those of you that are new um, subscribers, which I want to thank all of my new subscribers, and um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And then to everybody that's been around for a while, I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys so much. But to my new subscribers. I've been on keto for 15 months and I've lost 72 pounds and I've gotten off of every single medication that I was on and I was on. She used to take, I don't know, 20, 25 meds. No joke. She had a box. Yeah, my kids called it my candy box. It was every day. Oh full my God. of pre prescriptions. And I literally, the only thing I take now, and it's not a prescription, is a leave when I, like the days that I do the trek and my body's hurting, I'll pop two well, naproxen, a leave, two before I go to sleep. And that's not a prescription. That's over the counter. But everything else, I was, I even stopped taking my allergy medicine. My allergies are even good now. Could be the weather because it's not really allergy season. But here in Southern California, I usually have allergies the whole entire year. So I usually have to take like two different allergy medications. Um, I was taking all kinds of medications for my stomach because I had a uh, hiatal hernia. I had ulcers. I had acid reflux. I had, um, they said I had scar tissue and lesions on the lining of my stomach. I, I just was always messed up with my stomach all the time. Something was always wrong. Always. And now the only thing I ever complain about is my body hurting and it's because of work. And I am feeling better today. You guys, my fibromyalgia, the symptoms are like, I'm not, I'm not as bad today. I'm not as sore, which is weird because I did so much the last three days. Oh my goodness. And lately I've been having energy. I started working out again. And I kind of... Um, I started uh, taking some... Uh, what what kind of pills were they? Testosterone. Uh, yeah, testosterone pills. Yeah. Because, you know, when a, a man gets older, he loses it for some reason. I don't know. Our body doesn't... Uh, replenish it or whatever so we need to take it but I already had energy and then I took these pills and I got a lot more energy so I started working out again I started doing something light and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if Teresa can record because I've noticed that a lot of um, women that have lost weight their arms oh my god on their biceps and the triceps you got three Muscles back here, these are triceps. And you got two muscles right here, these are biceps. And so all my life I've worked out and I've had, used to have big arms, like 18 and a half inch guns. I had big guns, big arms. And so um, I know how to build up your triceps and your biceps. So uh, maybe Teresa later on can um, film just uh, some quick exercises, how to build up your triceps and tighten that up because I mean, it's good that you're losing weight, that everybody, you know, the, if you're on keto, you're losing weight and everything like that, or whatever diet you're on. But sometimes that sagginess, you got to tighten that up. And, and he keeps telling me I need to do those exercises for my arms. Mm -hmm. We got, I got two uh, dumbbells, they're like 12 pounds, That's which is really light. That's too heavy for me, though. Huh? That's too heavy for me. It might be too heavy for a lot of you, yeah. But you could get like five pounds, three pounds, or something like that. And uh, the thing is, is when you work out your arms, is to be consistent and to keep the movement, uh, continual movement. Like you go from bicep to tricep, to bicep to tricep, to bicep to tricep. So you do curls and you do back arms and you do curls and then you do back arms and you switch, keep going back. So I got like a little routine that I, that I, that I can go by and, and hopefully later on Teresa can film just, uh. Just to show you guys, you know. To so so, those of you that work out or want to exercise. Yeah, or want to tighten that up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know. Probably in the summertime, I'll, or the springtime, I'll start doing it. And tighten up your stomach, too. Because, um... I'm running out of minute. Sorry about that. Um, my storage is so low on my camera phone. <laughs> anyway, so we're just going to close this up and we'll do another video tomorrow. I did a bunch of little videos and that's why I don't have any room for us to really talk too long. But we've already talked too long. So y'all have a good night. Have a happy Friday. Maybe you're going to go out on a date with your husband or maybe you're going to go out of town for the weekend. 
whatever you're going to do, be safe and have fun. And um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, like and uh, ring the bell so you can get notifications for when we upload videos. And comment, comment. I love uh, interacting with you guys. I love talking to you guys. So y'all have a good weekend and I'll try my hardest to come back on tomorrow. We're going to be busy, really, really busy tomorrow, but I'll try. Okay. So y'all have a good weekend. Bye. Enjoy your families.